Hey, Attila, it's so good to see you. Thank you so much for joining um, me today. Is uh, Can you tell me a little bit about your market? You're from the greater Vancouver area, is that right? Oh, hi, Tina. Thanks so much for having me. I appreciate uh, the time in doing this. Yes, I'm from the uh, greater Vancouver area. I focus on Vancouver, also um, Fraser uh, Valley and West Vancouver. And um, most of the property I'm involved in, in terms of transactions, are residential properties. I can give you an example here with my uh, current listing. Um, it's a uh, luxurious Cape Cod style home. It's in um, South Surrey, which is a suburb of Vancouver. Mm -hmm. And it's um, a little under 3,400 square feet um, and four bedroom, four bath. And the um, price is $2.1 million. So that's probably closer to 1.7 in US dollars. Mm -hmm. um, and then you can see here the area, it's quite a beautiful area. It's close to the Nicomechal River walking distance. You can drop a boat in the river, uh, mm -hmm. it's walking distance to the Nikowin golf course. And you can see here how pretty it is in the uh, fall time with all the colors. Mm -hmm. and, um, uh, this property, yeah, it, it shows beautifully. It's all hardwood and this is the living area, um, living area, uh, dining. It's your standard and beautiful kitchen. It all has a uh, very uh, nice granite, um, stainless steel appliances. Um, and there's a nice shot of the kitchen there. Um, you know, relative to Vancouver, I just want to point out in, in even Florida is, is you get a lot of house for $2.1 million. Like you can't even find anything livable in Vancouver for 2.1 million. Mm -hmm. There's nothing livable. So mm -hmm. 2.1 million in Vancouver is a teardown. Yeah. So how so long does it take from this, this location is Surrey. How long, what, how long of a commute is that to drive into Vancouver or, there, or is there public transportation? There's both. It's a great question because mm -hmm. I used to work downtown in, um, in a, in a small biotech company and I, I traveled downtown every, I live across the street from this place mm -hmm. and it took me an hour, whether it was, um, on the train. So you have to take a, a bus, uh, hop over onto the train. Mm -hmm. And it took me an hour, whether I drove or took the uh, public transit. Mm -hmm. It's very easy getting downtown. Um, our, uh, I work out of the Vancouver uh, office, the BD Street office, mm -hmm. and I am downtown uh, frequently, mm -hmm. probably about three days a week. Um, mm -hmm. It's, it you know, that's what I envision for the, the, the buyer of this place is like, look, mm -hmm. they can, they can take their $5 million Vancouver house if they don't have to work in an office, mm -hmm. they can live in the suburbs and, you know, have an extra 3 million bucks in the bank. It's like, mm -hmm. that's what I envision. Like, and, and that we know happened um, when COVID was a pandemic. Mm -hmm. um, people just said, look, I'm leaving the big city. I'm going to move out to the burbs or my cottage. And mm -hmm. so this, I think, um, will will definitely sell. It's just a matter of um, mm -hmm. I think buyers uh, becoming more comfortable with the uh, stability of, of interest rates. Um, you know, I think most people are probably anticipating that that we've seen the peak in interest rates, mm -hmm. and that in, in the future there will be uh, possibly a lowering of rates, mm -hmm. and then. Buyers will just jump back in the market again. I think next year, probably starting with Q2 uh, two or, or 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 maybe even earlier, we'll see a drop. Mm -hmm. And that, <laughs> yeah, and 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 yeah, definitely. I, I um, being a Canadian, we obviously uh, flock to Florida for the warm, the warmth and the warm weather, the beautiful beaches. I mean, it's, we love Florida. Canadians love mm -hmm. Florida, and as you know, we have the snowbirds and a lot of people travel down. I, I have a lot of friends and, and family that um, travel to Florida and mm -hmm. you've got everything there. You've got Disney, you've got Miami, It's uh, you've got uh, great sports teams, lots mm -hmm. of uh, things to do. Um, right. You even have hockey. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do. Believe it or not. 
<laughs> even in hockey. Tampa Bay, Light. yeah, Tampa Bay Lightning. Yeah, Tampa Bay Lightning. No outdoor stadiums, though. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so let's, let's talk about Vancouver, though. So there's sure. so much to talk about in Vancouver and so much to do in Vancouver. The landscape there is just stunning. I mean, your trees are enormous. Um, the coast is beautiful. Um, yeah. Yes, it's it's a different coast than the East Coast, which, mm -hmm. which you're on. I think definitely um, it's the thing with Vancouver is you can you can ski and you can uh, sail on the same day and play golf on the same day. Amazing. It's, it's unbelievable. Like, because we have um, world famous resorts like Whistler, uh, mm -hmm. Black Home, which is about two hours away from Vancouver. Um, but even if you don't want to travel uh, all the way to Whistler, you can go to Cyprus or Seymour, mm -hmm. which are also world class uh, ski resorts. And then when you're done skiing, you can, you know, go down to um, sea level and play around a golf or go sailing. Mm hmm. And so people sail in the wintertime. We have a polar um, polar series uh, based out of um, uh, Vancouver Yacht Club. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, that's one of the things people love doing in Vancouver and, um, is, is sailing. And I've been sailing for 25 years. Um, wow. Mostly started off doing windsurfing. Mm -hmm. I would actually uh, windsurf on the East, East Coast. We'd go to Cape Hatteras and, and places like that because it was... Uh, a short distance from the, the uh, uh, Toronto area. And so uh, lots to do in Vancouver, uh, lots of great restaurants. Um, there's there's um, everything from uh, uh, multiple ethnicity restaurants to uh, local flavors, a lot of local restaurants featuring um, local wines and, and uh, food and mm -hmm. source locally. And, and so lots of thing, entertainment too. We have, we've got... Um, NHL team. Uh, we don't have a uh, NFL team. I know the NFL owns Sunday in, in the United States, so mm -hmm. <laughs> we don't have, we don't have an. But the closest one to uh, us is uh, in Seattle, so where the Seahawks are. So it's quite a short drive. We used to go as a family to um, watch the Seattle Mariners play a lot, mm -hmm. and so it's, it's only two hours from mm -hmm. where we are. So. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so it's it's and and the other thing with Vancouver that's exciting is um, that uh, it's only a six hour uh, plane ride to Hawaii, mm -hmm. correct? And so a lot of people go down to Hawaii from from uh, here because it's so easy to get to and mm -hmm. so far. And direct flight. Wow, it's almost um, the same length of time as it is um, uh, to to go from California to to Hawaii. Wow, I know it's it's because Hawaii is way out there in, in the Pacific, but it's also not only is it south, but it's west. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty uh, it's pretty far out in the middle of the Pacific there. Well, let's talk about then um, too. Uh, you speak Hungarian. Um, do you have a Hungarian clientele or um, a lot of Hungarian networks? So. Yeah, I, 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 that's something I would like to build on. I think mm -hmm. that having uh, multiple languages is definitely uh, um, sure. something to um, um, to build on. That's at mm -hmm. the moment I currently don't, and and mm -hmm. so, but I would love to be able to explore that um, in the future. But definitely, if um, uh, you have uh, a similar background to someone their uh their trust level is automatically higher because mm -hmm. it's like oh you're hungarian oh yeah. <laughs> and then all of a sudden um you know you start hitting it off so it's 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 nice there are some um hungarian cultural societies here in in vancouver that i want to explore a little bit more in the future um and uh, become a bit more part of and when when i become more mm -hmm. established I, I i just got my uh, license in in um April. So it's, it's definitely something I want to explore and it's a strength to have um, mm -hmm. more than one language. And prior to real estate, you've had a fascinating career. Your background is in pharmaceuticals. Is that right? Yes. I was a pharmaceutical executive for uh, quite a long time for um, uh, multinational global companies as well as smaller biotechs. And so I have a huge network of obviously um, doctors, lawyers, bankers, CEOs, uh, high net worth people, mm -hmm. investors, Smaller biotechs are always raising money, and so you're always um, working with investors um, do, to do financings. Same thing with bigger 
pharma companies as well. I mean, they're always working with the big banks uh, like JP Morgan and, 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 and those kind of banks. Mm-hmm. But yeah, the um, it definitely helps because um, uh, some of my testimonial, they're not even related to real estate. They're just related to the things that I did for doctors. Like um, the last one I got from uh, a doctor was I got him involved in vaccine trials. Mm-hmm. And um, as a result of that, uh, he went to uh, Monaco and uh, uh, and spent some time there to learn more about those trials uh, that we were doing with uh, uh, GlaxoSmithKline at the time. And then he's still involved in those trials and he's still involved in following up with those patients. And then recently he's actually uh, told me that he's going to, he got invited to Rio uh, de Janeiro in Brazil to, to educate doctors about vaccines. Um, so he's traveled all over the world and he, and he just sent me a note saying, thank you for, for doing that. And it's yeah, just it's because of you that I was able to go to Monaco and now I'm going to Rio. And so, I mean, that's how I want to build my business is just mm-hmm. provide value. And it's not even about selling real estate. Mm-hmm. It's about relationships. That's for sure. hundred percent. And he invited me to his home on, uh, uh, Vancouver Island on, uh, Elk Lake. And so I, that, that's how, I think that's how, I mean, we get, um, uh, I guess, um, trusted relationship we build trusted relationships and it turns mm-hmm. into um opportunity mm-hmm. absolutely well thank you for the opportunity speaking of that thank you for the opportunity to interview you today and thank you for um, sharing your um piece of vancouver with me and with our audience and um hopefully we can work together soon I hope so. Absolutely. I definitely see that, uh, Tina. Thanks so much mm-hmm. for having me. I appreciate the time and, and the opportunity. Absolutely. Take care, Attila. Take care.